Hey, I'm Philly. It's Friday, April 26th, and this is your Friday Fix. Perfect. In the preview for this week's episode, we saw the White Walkers, the Whites, and the Night King waiting for Winterfell at the Doe. <laughs> and I have the same prediction as always, I think everyone's gonna die, but on the off chance that they survive, our faves have a few tools at their disposal that'll help them defeat the Night King's army. Fire, Valyrian Steel, and Dragonglass. No, I'm not on the set of HBO's Game of Thrones, I actually got this from a geology classroom. This piece of glass that's similar to dragon glass is actually obsidian. How do I know that it's obsidian? Well, it is explicitly stated in the books, but I'm not sure if that detail ever made it into the show. So how do scientists know that dragon glass and obsidian are the same? By the way that they're described. Scientists that study the earth and earth materials are called geologists. Geologists have come up with a way to classify rocks so they can clearly and precisely discuss them without actually having to have rock samples there. To begin, rocks are classified into three main types depending upon how they are formed, metamorphic, igneous, or sedimentary. From there, you make as many observations as you can about the rock. What color is it? Does it react to acid? Is it magnetic? Can you see the grain size? What size are the grains? Are there any minerals present? What minerals are present? Is it folated? Is it intrusive or extrusive? It can be a lot. But the more observations you make, the easier it is to identify the rock. So let's practice on our dragon glass. So what do we know about this specimen? We know that it's black and shiny and it's smooth like glass. That gives us very important clues about its color and its texture. What else do we know? Well, the maesters in the Citadel said it's formed in the fires inside of the earth. Also, when John and Danny mined for it on Dragonstone, they didn't have to dig too deep to find it. That gives us information about where it's formed and how it's been collected. Those are actually major clues. The first giveaway on what this specimen could be is that it's black and it's glass-like. So this isn't a rock at all. The glass-like texture tells us that it's actually formed from lava that has cooled very quickly and didn't give it an opportunity for minerals to grow. So that sounds like obsidian to me. But as a diligent geologist, I would take a note, I would collect the specimen, and I would look it up in my field guide when I got out of the field. So I'm gonna turn to my obsidian page, and there it is, a picture of obsidian. So there you have it. From our observations, our description, and our field guide, we're able to determine that dragon glass is the same thing as obsidian. So if you wanna protect yourself and your loved ones, Go ahead and grab you some obsidian. You'll be good to go. <laughs> That's all I have for you this week. Make sure you check back next Friday and every Friday to get your fix. Have a great weekend.